Hello, welcome back. Um, okay, I've cut the um, image um, out now. So you should be left with something like this. And there's one thing we've got to do, is just correct the bottom area, which um, isn't dead straight. So I'm going to just use the magic wand, which is over here, select in here, and then I'm going to inverse, so you can go up to select inverse or control Shift Control I, which is preferable. Come down here to zoom in, and then I want to use my free transform tool. Zoom out a little bit so I can see what's going on. Actually, it's shifted the whole thing around. It's done on the wrong selection there, so I'll just double click that. Go into free transform again and just straighten it. It's quite hard to do it with the size that I've got for the YouTube video, but that's good enough. Okay, deselect it. Now, just to check that everything's going in nicely, I'm going to create a new layer. Let's bring this over here. Go to this little options box and new layer. And then I'm just going to click in a blacky colour and use the paint fill tool to just drop it on that layer. I'm going to get the layer and move it down here. Then I'm just going to come in and just inspect it. It looks pretty good. Now I'm using the space bar to be able to move around and then mouse click to move around. So it's pretty good. Down there it's not exactly right but I can live with it. Okay I'm zooming out now and I'm using a control minus, control plus to zoom in. Now I want to basically take this top layer into my design file. So I'm going to open my design file, which is design file 01. Drops in there. Now if you can't see the other file, it's because you need to come up here and just reduce both layers down. Now this is huge because the image is massive. So I'm going to go in and just change the image size down. We view actual pixels, you can see how big it is. It's huge. So you go to image, go to image size. Now we know the height of our um, canvas or our flash area is 600. So I'm going to make this 550 and then click OK. That will reduce this image down. Oh, it hasn't done it uniformly. Well, that's good. Um, need to make sure that constrained proportions is turned on. And then 550 again and click OK. Now, making sure that the Buddha layer is selected, just use the move tool here, grab this and move it straight into our file. Now you can close that down and you can save that if you're going to go back to it. In this case, I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it Buddha logo. Just shove it in there just in case I've got to refer back to it. Now that's closed up. Now we can play around with this. I mean, it's quite good as it is. But uh, let's open that back up again. But of course, we're going to have our images on this side. But this is okay for a, for a start. Well, one thing I can see, it just needs straightening up a little bit more. It's a little bit all over the place. That's quite nice. Okay, now we can play around with this image. So I'm going to layer two is my original. So I'm going to label it. Double click in here, or slowly double click rather than bring up the options and type Buddha in there, um, underscore original, because we don't want to delete that part of this. Now I'm going to select that layer, and I'm going to go into here, let's just do it so you can see what's going on, and I'm going to duplicate the layer. we we'll just call it test for now, because now I want to stylize it. If you remember the How Farm one, we got a stylized cottage image, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, let's bring up my layers again, because I want to turn this layer off, otherwise you're going to see the one underneath it. Okay, now I'm going to go up to um, Image, and I'm going to go Adjust, and I'm going to first of all desaturate it. Now I'm going to go into image adjust and levels now this is where I can play around with 